I was just a little worried I'm gonna wake up. You can't script it like this. I've been talking about this for the past four years and for me to go out and like this is the best feeling in the world. The Broncos can party like it's 1999. That's because for the first time since that year, the Boise State men's basketball team has earned a one seed in its conference tournament. Boise State will officially share its first ever Mountain West title with San Diego State. But thanks to owning the head-to-head -head tiebreaker, the Broncos will sit on the top line of this week's tournament. Boise State's senior night victory over Fresno State clinched the school's sixth all-time regular season championship. It also secured an automatic bid to the NIT, but no Mountain West regular season champ has ever been left out of the NCAA tournament field. This storybook ending followed an inauspicious start. The Broncos began conference play 0-3, but won 14 of their last 15 games. Our guys just have a lot of belief. You know, I thought when, when we were 0-3, I thought, oh, boy, I'm going to have to do a lot of convincing to, to get these guys to understand. And they just kind of, it was almost matter of fact, I showed them that the league champ's probably going to have three or four losses. And we got three right now. So we just climb our way back one game at a time. And they just kind of nodded their head and went, yep, okay. The group of five seniors, six if you count likely medical redshirt forward Anthony Drimmick, has been blazing a comeback trail for its entire tenure at Boise State. The Broncos' first season in the Mountain West was woeful, and Rice hasn't forgotten how far his guys have come. When all these guys were freshmen, and we were just struggling, we were just struggling, a Mountain West title was probably the last thing on my plate. I was trying to win one game. <laughs> I didn't know where that one win was coming, and my, all my coaching friends had to, you're going to get them, you're going to get them, you're going to get them, and I'm like, where? The Broncos finished 3-11 and in conference play that year, a far cry from 14-4, and hoisting a trophy, and heading to Las Vegas as the team to beat. I don't know if we had much faith ourselves, but I mean, we just came together as a, as a team, and that's what we needed to do. We lost to Meek, and it was, that was a big float, blow for us. And But we just came together as a team and, you know, needed to find out what worked, and it worked tonight. I mean, it's a surreal moment. You know, we've worked hard for four years, and now it actually it finally pays off. So it's been awesome just to finish off like, that, like this with these guys. We're going to take the weekend to rest and for us to come back down to earth. And uh, Monday, we're just going to get ready and uh, win a a tournament championship too. Here's a look at the men's bracket. Boise State gets a first round bye and will play the winner of Air Force New Mexico Thursday at 1 o'clock on CBS Sports Network. The Lobos have won this tournament three seasons in a row. The Mountain West regular season champion has made it to the finals of the tourney 11 times in 15 years, winning seven times. The four seed of Boise State women tip off Tuesday against UNLV. That game slated for 3.30 on the Mountain West Network. The Broncos and Rebels split their two meetings this season. My flight for Las Vegas leads at noon tomorrow. I'll have live reports throughout the rest of the week.